past, two children, Along and Anga, live in a ramshackle shed in the forest with their widowed mother, Matt. Along, tengok adik kau sikit. One day, they discover a dead deer hanging by its neck caught between branches high off the ground. On their way home, they see a young girl who starts following them. They take her in and call her Attic. Mac tells them a legend about a restless forest spirit that is cursed to endlessly hunt animals and children, but victims can save themselves by knocking two rocks together and chanting a mantra. Benda yang orang tua selalu cerita. Benda apa, Mak? Kau ketuk sambil kata, ketuk bawah hatinya. The next morning, the family wakes to see Attic eating raw birds. She tells them that they will all be dead by the next full moon before slitting her own throat. The family leaves Attic's body in a clearing in the forest. They return home to find an old lady who calls herself Talk looking at rocks that mysteriously appeared around the house the night before. Ni. Batu-batu ni nampak pelik. Talk tells them the rocks are a bad omen and makes the children discard them. Batu-batu ni tak elok. That night Along encounters a specter that looks like Attic in the crawl space under their house. She develops a high fever and Matt goes to talk for help. Talk conducts a ritual and instructs Anga to sacrifice two white pigeons, but the boy secretly lets one of the birds go free. A hunter shows up at the house looking for Attic, but Mac turns him away. Kau ada nampak budak perempuan? Tak ada budak selain anak-anak aku. Kau pergi cari tempat lain. That night, Along sleepwalks and wakes to find herself at Attic's grave site where she again encounters the apparition. Next day, the hunter finds a terrified along in the forest and returns her to Mac, who is suspicious that he had abducted the girl and harmed her. Along, mana along pergi? Apa dah jadi dengan along? An agitated along tells the hunter about Attic and then urges Mac to move out of the forest. Yeah, dia datang sini. Along, dia ikut kami bal. Mak bawa dia ke rumah. The hunter, who is Attic's father finds her body and grieves. While her mother is out of the house, Long slams her head repeatedly into a sharp metal protrusion on the floor and dies. Now truly fearful, Mac prepares to leave the forest with Anga, but the boy wanders off in search of food. The hunter finds that Attic's body has gone missing. He goes to Mac to warn her that she and her family are in danger from evil forces. 
Kau kena percayakan aku kalau kau nak selamat. Kalau tak... She refuses to believe him and accuses him of causing a long death and Angela's disappearance. Kau kena keluar dari sini. Kau jangan percaya. Aku kata kau yang tinggalkan tempat ini. After he leaves, Mac follows him with the intention of killing the hunter. In the forest, the hunter finds Anga and slits his throat before he himself is run through with a spear by Mac who has crept up behind him. The hunter wakes to find Tok performing a ritual over Attic's body, which is buried in a shallow grave. Kami hanya berbisik. She reveals that she is an iblis that exists by possessing humans to gain control of their souls. Tok is using Attic's body to carry out her evil deeds. The iblis taunts the hunter that he has not managed to save Anga from his fate. The children's spirits are seen roaming the forest. The film ends with a long burning down the family home with her mother, weakened by loss of blood from slit wrists, and dead brother inside it.